As Donald Trump continues to criticize NFL for protesting, the Seattle Seahawks are promoting equality for, with an all-new charity. The team tweeted a statement. It says, quote, in an effort to create lasting change and build more compassionate and inclusive society, we're launching the Seahawks Players Equality and Justice for All Action Fund to support education and leadership programs addressing quality and justice. The tweet includes a link to the fund. The team says they are working on an advisory board made up of up of players, business owners, and community leaders to determine which nonprofits get the money. On September 24th, the team stayed in the locker room as a way to protest during the national anthem after Trump's comments. And of course, one of the team's players, Michael Bennett, has been very much involved out here. He was engaged, of course, uh, in uh, that uh, drama in Las Vegas, accusing its officers of police brutality. Go to our panel real quick here. Again, the San Francisco 49ers, people don't realize, what they did was uh, they worked with Colin Kaepernick, Dr. Harry Edwards, uh, to also meet with, with, with various police departments. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, they called in Roger Goodell, owner Jeff Lurie, and met with people talking about sentencing reform and bail as well. The players, Malcolm Jenkins and others, they are trying to educate these clueless owners about what's happening. And if you see the Eagles video, I'm trying to get permission for us to run it. I mean, Goodell and Lurie had no idea what in the world was going on. Well, I mean, you nailed it last week, Roland. Well, when these brothers uh, rolled out that memo and were very detailed on what they wanted to do, everybody got caught up in the knee, got caught up in Trump, but they have kept their eye on the ball. And what we're seeing now is these owners who had to take stop to stop a slave rebellion may just link up and do some of this work. Of but, course, Cap still didn't have a job, but uh, right. And of course, <laughs> just and Derek, this is a perfect play if you want to criticize media. How mainstream media has totally ignored that player's ten-page memo right. and again things along this line. Sure, I would agree with that. And to your point, we talked about it last week. Again, this is an opportunity to take advantage of the situation. And I actually reached out, and I have a call on Friday with the young lady who represents Malcolm Jenkins and the entire coalition of players who put out that memo. And again, I'm going to try to connect them, make the connection with uh, the brother at the White House and a couple of other organizations here in Washington, D.C., again, to try to put forth an effort to make some change. With legislation. No, oh, I love. Well. I love to see them uh, meet with Trump and see what he has to say about that meeting. Uh, Spencer, facts are important. Organizations, resources. You know, certainly the symbols are very important. Also, we need need the acts. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't no cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got a fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.